Hello and welcome to this video on Conversations on Consciousness. Today I'll be speaking to you about the hero's journey. The hero's journey. Your journey. Because you are a hero. <laughs> that's right. Now, the hero is something that's within inside you. That is you. That is your mission. That is your purpose. Like, what is your purpose? The purpose of life, of Whatever you think is your purpose is something that ignites you, excites you, is the things that you love doing. For me, it's learning about life, it's healing, consciousness. Those are the things that I love to explore and to experience. But the hero's journey is something that has been seen in many, many movies, such as like Star Wars, you know, Luke Skywalker, uh, Anakin Skywalker. Darth Vader, the hero's journey, Yoda, <laughs> Mandalorian, it's the hero. Other things such as like Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, you know, the Hobbit, going through, uh, you know, the, the Hobbit, um, Frodo Baggins, for example, you know, taking the ring back to the, the, the mountain of Mordor, I think it is, to, to burn the ring. It's the hero's journey. And along the way, if we, let's take Bilbo Baggins' um, journey. For him going, leaving the Shire. He was, a, as um, Gandalf said in, in the movie, he was like, you're a different hobbit than the one that left the Shire. And it's like, yeah, because when you face life challenges, when you become the hero of your own journey, that you are the main actor on your own stage, that in the world that surrounds you of, of life, of, of things that you are doing, that Along the way, you, you get to explore parts of yourself which is only relevant to you. That, of course, your life is meant for yourself, it's nobody else's. And the, the journey that you take, that you embark on this mystical adventure, that you go through these, these mixed emotions, that you go through highs, you go through lows, it's like a roller coaster of emotions. There's a great movie I watched, I mentioned this recently in another video called Soul. A great movie, a uh, Disney movie, Pixar, um, about, you know, a, it's called Soul, which is like a, this soul singer who, uh, who leaves Earth and, you know, encounters this soul that's never incarnated on Earth before, who's never had an experience. And then when they do, they experience life in such a way that they're experiencing all these new emotions, these new experiences that they've never had before. And it wasn't about a purpose that they had, it was about being in the moment, about enjoying life, and that's what life is about. We need to remember to be connected to nature, to remember what it's like to be a child again, to be an animal. And then when you look at animals, for example, um, you know, look at a cat, you know, look at a bird that is in the sky and just watch its journey. It's, it's probably hunting, you know, that falcon or that golden eagle or that, that buzzard, especially in England, that, that bird that's just high on the tree looking out for its prey. But at the same time, it's just being content and, and taking everything in, being very aware. Awareness is the key to life, like one of them, to be aware of everything around you, to be prepared. And the hero's journey is 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 a is a place of passion, of excitement, of romance, of creativity, of experiencing all these earthly different emotions for the end result. And whatever that is, the the, the party, the celebration at the end, you know, the diploma, the uh, the graduation. That we have to remember the journey that we go through in order to get where we are going. Now today I had a great comment which was made me smile, and you know I've been learning Spanish for over a year, and much longer, but this year I've learned a lot because of being you know locked down and, and quarantine and self isolation and being pretty much on my own and spending many hours every day just focused on learning the language as best I can, and then today I started speaking a little bit. And um, I was a bit impressed. I got some good comments like, wow, that was perfect Spanish. I was like, okay, <laughs> muy bien. <laughs> um, I still get a bit frozen with it. However, I knew that, say my own hero's journey, the, the, the destination of, of speaking a language, speaking Spanish rather than English, it's the journey that I've been going through of the, the hardship, of the, the, 
the struggles and the trials of finding it difficult, of learning and getting things wrong and trying to remember how to spell certain things, you know, spelling things wrong or getting, getting the pronunciation wrong or not, you know, couldn't roll my R's. Now I can do it. It took me a whole day to master. I practiced all day and then I could do it. But doing it in the word is a bit difficult. So, you know, my, my hero's journey of being a hero to myself, of learning a new language and being successful in that area, it's, it was kind of like a, a relief in that moment of like, wow, yeah, like, yeah, I'm really proud of myself, I can do this. And it's the journey that is important, it's the hero's journey of the most important time right now is now, right now, this now very minute this second here it's not in the past it's not in the future it's not thinking about oh i need to be at a certain place in a, in a minute it's about your mind emotionally spiritually mentally being present in your body in that space and just being still and that's what meditation teaches us is just to be still with our thoughts with our feelings with our emotions our, our physical body our mental physical state of just being relaxed and anchored down and being grounded in this very spot that we are now taking everything in now along the way like um you know when we stumble may, we may fall but it's about picking ourselves up that we can empower ourselves and be our own hero that we can help save others by being in service and by giving love and hope and and healing to many other people around us but the person that we should of course empower is ourselves you know being a great teacher a good elder uh, a good big brother um, you know a good parent a good father for example these are all good qualities that we have to have in order to you know be a good energy be a good person now always strive for the best but along the way you know you're going to go through different hardships in life this message is for you listening and I hope it it calls true to home that you've had many hardships in your life you know you've had times when you have fallen when you have not succeeded when you have broken something where you felt broken inside or you have failed at something however you continue to go past that you feel better about the situation now or you fix the situation or you became better than you were but perfectionism is is something that's important that we need to continue to do like we can always try and try and try to perfect ourselves however we must remember of course also to relax and to accept that whatever we're going through is just time the hero's journey is our own journey. It doesn't matter what other people think of us. I've I've seen many different people out there in the world. You know, people who love like racing cars and sports cars. They love heavy mu music, um, beatboxing, rapping. It could be creativity, arts, uh, weightlifting. I know people have seen on Facebook as well, like creativity, painting. And it's the hero's journey, it's learning along the way, it's about your own journey. And we have to remember that we are our own heroes, that we are the only person that's going to make us self feel happier and, you know, really acknowledge life and be content. <laughs> um, you know, no one can write that book of yours that you want to write. No one is going to keep yourself fit. No one's going to do anything for you but you. And that is part of your own journey of the healing that you go through too the the, the self-discovery the understanding of the ultimatum of who and what you are who what when and where you are that really we are perfect the way we are it's just we are in a process of continuing a continuous learning that enables us to perfect ourselves through emotional experience and that journey comes from the place where you leave, the places where you feel most comfortable. <laughs> and I remember this many years ago, speaking to you know the voices in my head, that sounds a bit mental, 
um, speaking to my guides, you know, and the voices in my head of myself, speaking to myself and just thinking and feeling and tuning in. And then this like this this thought came into my head, I think probably from a guide or a creative side was like, I wanted change. You know, I was happy sort of in my life, but I wanted to be a better person. I wanted to grow. I wanted to be happier and everything. And then this thought came to my mind of like, in order to have change, you must change. <laughs> and so I took the leap of, of faith and I, I left Somerset, England and went to London and everything changed. And then when I was there for two or three years, then I said like, I wanna change. And it brought me back home, back into the country. And I'm glad I did because it, it, it you know, I had a different job, I had a different life. Life is different now, in a, in a beautiful way, that I wish I had the emotional understanding and the journey that I've been through. I, I wish I had skipped all that and gone back in time and restarted. But it's the journey that we forget that we've been through, the hero's journey of going through the experiences and going through it. And this is the exact journey that we're on now. We are on this journey on earth, in this physical body, learning about this life in ordering, enabling us to be better. And it's remembering that there is no better because there is no worse. There is just is, there just is us. There is balance only and ourselves. The journeys that I've been on in my life have been shocking, challenging, beautiful, creative, exhilarating, um, scary, <laughs> but now I look back on it and it's experience, it's stuff that you can read it in a book, you can watch it on a movie, but until you actually experience it firsthand, then it's what life helps shape you, it's what gives you your personality or give, gives you your traumas or gives you your past, but it's being a good person with it. So I wanted to share that with you, that it really is about the hero's journey, your own hero of stepping into your own shoes, walking your own path, not walking somebody else's, but doing the things that you love doing and will make you happy. I hope this helped in some way, my ramblings, <laughs> talking about things of life, uh, conversations on consciousness. Thank you for watching and remember to enjoy the journey. Speak to you next time.